Hong Kong International Airport is the main airport in Hong Kong. It is located on the island of Chek Lap Kok, which largely comprises land reclaimed for the construction of the airport itself. The airport is also colloquially known as Chek Lap Kok Airport, to distinguish it from its predecessor, the closed Kai Tak Airport. The airport has been commercially operational since 1998, replacing the former Kai Tak Airport, and is an important regional transshipment center, passenger hub and gateway for destinations in mainland China and the rest of Asia. The airport is the world's busiest cargo gateway and one of the world's busiest passenger airports. The Hong Kong International Airport is also home to one of the world's largest passenger terminal buildings. Hong Kong International Airport is one of the busiest airports in Asia. Operated by the Airport Authority Hong Kong 24 hours a day, the airport is the primary hub for Cathay Pacific, Dragoma, Hong Kong Airlines, Hong Kong Express Airways and Air Hong Kong. The airport is one of the hubs of Own World Alliance, and it is also one of the Asian Pacific cargo hubs for UPS Airlines. It is a focus city for many airlines, including China Airlines, China Eastern Airlines, Singapore Airlines, Ethiopian Airlines, Virgin Atlantic and Air India use Hong Kong as a stopover point for the flights respectively. HKIA is an important contributor to Hong Kong's economy, with approximately 65,000 employees. More than 100 airlines operate flights from the airport to over 180 cities across the globe. In 2013 HKIA handled 59.9 million passengers, making it the 11th busiest airport worldwide by passenger traffic. It also surpassed Memphis International Airport to become the world's busiest airport by cargo traffic. History CHEK Lapcock Airport was designed as a replacement for the former Hong Kong International Airport originally built in 1925. Located in the densely built-up Kowloon City District with a single runway extending into Kowloon Bay, Kai Tak had only limited room for expansion to cope with steadily increasing air traffic. By the 1990s, Kai Tak had become one of the world's busiest airports a euro it far exceeded its annual passenger and cargo design capacities, and one out of every three flights experienced delays, largely due to lack of space for aircraft, gates, and a second runway. In addition, noise mitigation measures restricted nighttime flights, as severe noise pollution in Kowloon City, adversely affected an estimated total of at least 340,000 people. A 1974 planning study by the Civil Aviation and Public Works Departments identified the small island of Chek Lap Kok, off Lantau Island, as a possible airport replacement site. Away from the congested city centre, Flight paths would be routed over the South China Sea rather than populous urban areas, enabling efficient round the clock operation of multiple runways. The CHEK Lapcock Airport Master Plan and civil engineering studies were completed towards the end of 1982 and 1983, respectively. In February 1983, however, the government shelved the project for financial and economic reasons. In 1988, the Port and Airport Development Strategy Study was undertaken by consultants, headed by Mott MacDonald Hong Kong Limited, reporting in December 1989. This study looked at forecasts for both airport and port traffic to the year 2011 and came up with three recommended strategies for overall strategic development in Hong Kong. One of the three assumed maintaining the existing airport at Kaituk. A second assumed a possible airport in the western harbour between Lantau Island and Hong Kong Island. And the third assumed a new airport at CLK. The consultants produced detailed analyses for each scenario, enabling government to consider these appraisals for each of the three recommended strategies. In October 1989 the Governor of Hong Kong announced to the Legislative Council that a decision had been made on the long-term port and airport development strategy for the territory. The strategy to be adopted was that which included a replacement airport at CHEK Lapcock and incorporating new container terminals 8 and 9 at Stonecutters Island and east of the island of Tsingyi respectively. In the PAD study the consultants advised that the earliest the airport could be opened was January 1998. However, in reaching the government's decision, 
This date was modified to January 1997, six months prior to the handover of the territory to China. Construction of the new airport began in 1991. As construction progressed, an agreement was reached with China that as much as possible of the airport would be completed before the handover to China in July 1997. In the event, British Prime Minister John Major opened the Tsingma Bridge, the main access to Lantau Island and the airport and its supporting community in May 1997, prior to the transfer of sovereignty to China. The airport itself was opened in July 1998. The construction period was very rushed. Specialists considered that only a 10 euro 20 year period was sufficient for this massive project. Another cause for this rush was due to the uncertain future of the airport construction after the transfer of sovereignty over Hong Kong to the People's Republic of China. It was originally believed that Beijing preferred to keep everything basically intact and minimize financial commitments for big projects, therefore stopping all construction despite the need for the new airport. In practice, the airport did not finish in time for the handover. However, China gave an additional year's grace period to finish the project. Hong Kong International Airport was built on a large artificial island, formed by leveling CHEK Lapcock and Lam Shao Islands and 0.08 square kilometers respectively, and reclaiming 9.38 square kilometers of the adjacent seabed. The 12.48 square kilometer airport site added nearly 1% to Hong Kong's total surface area connecting to the north side of Lantau Island near Tung Chung New Town. Construction of the new airport was only part of the airport call program, which also involved construction of new road and rail links to the airport, with associated bridges and tunnels, and major land reclamation projects on both Hong Kong Island and in Kowloon. The project is the most expensive airport project ever, according to Guinness World Records. Construction of the new airport was voted as one of the top 10 construction achievements of the 20th century at the Con Expo conference in 1999. The detailed design for the airport terminal was awarded to a consortium led by Mott Connell with British Airports Authority as specialist designers for airport related aspects, Foster and Partners as architects, and Ove Aerop as specialist structural designers for the roof. Mott Connell were the designers for foundations all other structural components and the mechanical and electrical work. Project architects were Foster and Partners. The sides of the terminals, predominantly glass, were designed to break during high-speed winds, relieving pressure and allowing the terminal to withstand an intense typhoon. Opened on July 6, 1998, a week later than the new Kuala Lumpur International Airport, it took six years and 20 US dollars a billion to build. On that day at 6.25 a.m., Cathay Pacific Flight 889 was the first commercial flight to land at the airport, pipping the original CX-292 from Rome which was the scheduled first arrival. However, on the first day of opening, the airport had already started to experience some technical difficulties. The flight information display system had suddenly shut down which caused long delays. Shortly afterwards, the cargo communication link with Kai Tah, where all the data was stored, went down. In the same period of time, someone had accidentally deleted a critical database for cargo services. This meant that cargo had to be manually stored. At one point, the airport had to turn away freight headed for and exported from Hong Kong while it sorted out the mess. HKIA simply could not keep up without an automated computer assisting. For three to five months after its opening, it suffered various severe organizational, mechanical and technical problems that almost crippled the airport. Computer glitches were to blame for the crisis. Lau Kang Wei, a Hong Kong politician, was quoted saying this was meant to be a first-class project, but it has turned into a ninth-class airport and a disgrace. Our airport has become the laughing stock of the world. At one time, the government reopened the cargo terminal at Kai Tak Airport to handle freight traffic because of a breakdown at the new cargo terminal, named Super Terminal 1. However, after six months the airport started to operate normally. On July 31, 2000, Todd Salamishe, a regularized illegal immigrant in Hong Kong with no provable nationality, forced his way through a security checkpoint using a fake pistol, 
took a woman hostage, and boarded a Cathay Pacific aircraft. He demanded to be flown to Burma, which he claimed was his native country but had refused to admit him due to his lack of documents. He surrendered to police two and a half hours later. Officially opened in June 2007, the second airport terminal, called T2, is linked with the MTR Airport Express on a new platform. The terminal also features a new shopping mall, Sky Plaza, providing a large variety of shops and restaurants, together with a few entertainment facilities. T2 also houses a 36-bay coach station for buses to and from mainland China and 56 airline check-in counters, as well as customs and immigration facilities. Besides T2, the Sky City Nine Eagles golf course has been opened in 2007 whereas a second airport hotel, the Hong Kong Sky City Marriott Hotel, and a permanent cross-boundary ferry terminal, the Skipia, began operations in 2008 and 2009 respectively. Development around T2 also includes the Asia World Expo which has started operation in late 2005. A second passenger concourse, the North Satellite Concourse, opened in 2010. Composition Hong Kong International Airport covers an area of 1,255 hectares. The airport has a total of 66 boarding gates, with 66 jet bridge gates and 7 virtual gates which are used as assembly points for passengers, who are then ferried to the aircraft by apron buses. Of the 66 jet bridges, Five are capable of handling the Airbus A380, the current users of which are Singapore Airlines, Emirates, Qantas, British Airways, Asiana Airlines, and Air France. Previous users were Korean Air, Malaysia Airlines, Thai Airways, and China Southern Airlines. Terminal 1, Terminal 1 of the HKIA, with an area measuring 570,000 square meters is the third largest airport passenger terminal building in the world, after Dubai International Airport's Terminal 3 and Beijing Capital International Airport's Terminal 3. At its opening, Terminal 1 was the largest airport passenger terminal building, with a total gross floor area of 531,000 square meters. It briefly conceded the status to Bangkok's Yavana Pumi Airport, when the latter opened on September 15, 2006, but reclaimed the title when the East Hall was expanded, bringing the total area to its current size of 570,000 square meters expansion to Sky Mart, a shopping mall. Terminal 1's title as the world's largest was surrendered to Beijing Capital International Airport Terminal 3 on February 29, 2008. Terminal 2, Terminal 2, together with the Sky Plaza, opened on February 28, 2007 along with the opening of the airport station's Platform 3. It is only a check-in and processing facility for departing passengers with no gates or arrival facilities. So far most low-cost carriers and some full-service carriers have relocated their check-in operations to T2. The Sky Plaza is situated within Terminal 2. Architecture firm Oiders and Skidmore Owings and Merrill designed Terminal 2 and the Sky Plaza. North Satellite Concourse In 2007, HKIA began the construction of a two-story North Satellite Concourse, which opened in December 2009. This concourse was designed for narrow-body aircraft and is equipped with 10 jet bridges. The concourse has a floor area of 20,000 square meters and will be able to serve more than 5 million passengers annually. There is a shuttle bus service between the NSC and Terminal 1 every four minutes. The North Satellite Concourse was built so the airport could accommodate at least 90% of his passengers by Aero Bridges. It has two levels. Architecture firm Oida's designed North Satellite Concourse. Midfield Concourse, on January 25, 2011, Airport Authority Hong Kong unveiled Phase 1 of its midfield development project which is targeted for completion by the end of 2015. The midfield area is located to the west of Terminal 1 and between the two existing runways. It is the last piece of land on the airport island available for large-scale development. This will include 20 aircraft parking stands, three of these will be wide enough to serve the Airbus A380 and cater for an additional 10 million passengers annually. Passengers will reach the concourse through an extension of the underground automated people mover. 
architecture firm Oides designed the midfield concourse. Other buildings, Cathay Pacific City, the head office of Cathay Pacific, is located on the airport property. Dragorma House, the head office of Dragorma, is also on the airport property. The head office of Air Hong Kong, as of 2004, is located on the fourth floor of the South Tower of Cathay Pacific City. The head office of Hong Kong Airlines was previously on level 2 of the CNAC house at HKIA. Future Development In June 2010, the airport authority unveiled plans to develop in stages the vast midfield site of the airport island. Stage 1 will involve the construction of a new 20-gate passenger concourse to be built in two phases with 11 gates in Phase 1 growing to 20 gates in Phase 2. Configuration of the new concourse is similar to those at Hartsfield Jackson Atlanta International Airport, London Heathrow Terminal 5 and Incheon International Airport. After Stage 1 of midfield development is completed in 2020, there will be sufficient land remaining for further new concourses to be built as and when demand for them materializes. Master Plan 2030, one year after, on June 2, 2011, the airport authority announced and released their latest version of a 20-year blueprint for the airport's development, the Hong Kong International Airport Master Plan 2030. The study took three years and according to the authority, nine consulting organizations have been hired for the research observation, planning and advice. The main focus is to improve the overall capacity and aircraft handling ability of the airport. Based on this, two options have been developed. Option 1, two runway system, to maintain the current two runway system, there will be enhancements to the terminal and apron facilities to increase the airport's capacity. This option will enable the airport to handle a maximum of 420,000 flight movements per year, with annual passenger and cargo throughput increased to 74 million and 6 million tons respectively. The approximate cost of this plan is $23.4 billion Hong Kong dollars in 2010 prices, or $42.5 billion Hong Kong dollars in money of the day prices. It will increase the number of direct jobs associated with HKIA to 101,000 by 2030 and generate a total of 432 billion Hong Kong dollars in economic net present value up to 2061. However, the airport authority estimates that the airport will reach its maximum runway capacity sometime around 2020 if no extra runway is added. Option 2, 3 runway system. This plan will focus on adding a third runway to the north of the CHEK Lapcock, the existing island the airport is built on, by land reclamation, using deep cement mixing, of about 650 hectares. Associated facilities, additional terminals, airfield and apron facilities, will be built as well, and, combined with a new runway. It is estimated that the airport would be able to handle a maximum of 620,000 flights per year, and meet forecast annual passenger and cargo throughput of about 97 million and 8.9 million tons by 2030 respectively. There are possible drawbacks. Development costs are a concern, although the proposal would increase the number of direct jobs associated with HKIA to 141,000 by 2030 and generate an ENPV of 912 billion Hong Kong dollars over a 50-year lifespan up to 2061, the estimated cost is approximately $86.2 billion Hong Kong dollars, or $136.2 billion Hong Kong dollars. There are also environmental and local noise pollution concerns. On March 20, 2012, the Hong Kong government adopted this option as the official expansion plan. Airlines and destinations, passenger. Cargo, one Martin may operate aircraft in KLM color scheme on these routes. Operations. The airport is operated by the Airport Authority Hong Kong, a statutory body wholly owned by the Government of Hong Kong Special Administrative Region. The airport has two parallel runways, both of which are 3,800 metres in length and 60 metres wide. The south runway has a Category 2 precision approach, while the north runway has the higher Category IIA rating, which allows pilots to land in only 200 metre visibility. The two runways have an capacity of over 60 aircraft movements an hour. 
the airport is upgrading ATC and runways so that they can handle 68 movements per hour. Normally, the north runway is used for landing passenger planes. The south runway is used for passenger planes taking off and cargo flights due to its proximity to the cargo terminal. There are 49 frontal stands at the main passenger concourse, 28 remote stands and 25 cargo stands. There are also five parking bays at the northwest concourse. A satellite concourse with 10 frontal stands for narrow-body aircraft has been commissioned to the north of the main concourse at the end of 2009 bringing the total number of frontal stands at the airport to 59. The airport was the third busiest for passenger traffic in Asia in 2010, and the world's busiest airport for cargo traffic in 2010. In terms of international traffic, the airport is the third busiest for passenger traffic and the busiest for cargo since its operation in 1998. There are over 95 international airlines providing about 900 scheduled passenger and all cargo flights each day between Hong Kong and some 160 destinations worldwide. About 76% of these flights are operated with wide-body jets. There are also an average of approximately 31 non-scheduled passenger and cargo flights each week. The operation of scheduled air services to and from Hong Kong is facilitated by air services agreements between Hong Kong and other countries. Since the opening of HKIA, the Hong Kong Special Administrative Region government has implemented a policy of progressive liberalization of air services. Many low-cost airlines have started various regional routes to compete head-on with full-service carriers on trunk routes. The airport's long-term expansion opportunities are subject to variables. An 80 billion Hong Kong dollars proposal to build a third runway has been under feasibility study and consultation but would be very expensive as it would involve additional reclamation from deep waters, and the building cost of the third runway may be as high as the building cost of the entire airport. On the other hand, there exists only one airway between Hong Kong and mainland China and this single route is often and easily backed up causing delays on both sides. In addition, China requires that aircraft flying the single air route between Hong Kong and the mainland must be at an altitude of at least 15,000 feet. Talks are underway to persuade the Chinese military to relax its airspace restriction in view of worsening air traffic congestion at the airport. Other than that, Hong Kong Airport Authority is cooperating with other airports in the area to relieve air traffic and in the future, Shenzhen may act as a regional airport while Hong Kong receives all the international flights. Air traffic, the government flying service provides short and long-range search and rescue services, police support, medical evacuation and general purpose flights for the government. Passenger facilities, despite its size, the passenger terminal was designed for convenience. The layout and signage, moving walkways and the automated people mover help passengers move through the building. The HKIA automated people mover, a driverless people mover system with three stations transports passengers between the check-in area and the gates. The trains travel at 62 km per hour. Hong Kong Business Aviation Center The Hong Kong Business Aviation Center is located within the airport and has its own terminal and facilities separate from the public terminal. It provides services for executive aircraft and passengers, including a passenger lounge, private rooms and showers, business center facilities, ground handling, baggage handling, fueling, security, customs and flight planning. Designated spaces and hangars are also provided at the BAC for private aircraft. Intermodal Transportation Hub To sustain the growth of passengers, the airport authority formulated a push and pull through strategy to expand its connections to new sources of passengers and cargo. This means adapting the network to the rapidly growing markets in China and in particular to the Pearl River Delta region. In 2003, a new airport mainland coach station opened. The coach station has a 230 square meter waiting lounge and sheltered bays for 10 coaches. Many buses operate each day to transport passengers between HKIA and major cities in the mainland. The coach station was relocated to the ground floor of Terminal 2 in 2007. The 36 bays at the new coach station allow cross-border coaches to make 320 trips a day carrying passengers between the airport and 90 cities and towns in the PRD. 
Local tour and hotel coaches also operate from T2. The coach station at T2 has shops and waiting lounges as well as a mainland coach service center which gathers all operators together. In late September 2003, the Skypier High Speed Ferry Terminal opened. Passengers arriving at the Skypier board buses to the terminal and arriving air passengers board ferries at the pier for their ride back to the PRD. Passengers traveling both directions can bypass custom and immigration formalities, which reduces transit time. Four ports a Euro Shiko, Shenzhen, Macau and Human a Euro were initially served. As of August 2007, Skypier serves Shenzhen's Shiko and Fuong, Dingguan's Human, Macau, Zhongshan and Zhuhai. Passengers traveling from Shiko and Macau can complete airline check-in procedures with participating airlines before boarding the ferries and go straight to the boarding gate for the flight at HKIA. In 2009, the permanent Skypier terminal opened. The permanent ferry terminal is equipped with four berths, but the terminal is designed to accommodate eight berths. Transfer desks and baggage handling facilities are included, and the terminal is directly connected to the airport automatic people mover system. Baggage and cargo facilities. Ramp handling services are provided by Hong Kong Airport Services Limited, Jardine Air Terminal Services Limited, and SATSHK Limited. Their services include the handling of mail and passenger baggage, transportation of cargo, Aero bridge operations and the operation of passenger stairways. The airport has an advanced baggage handling system, the main section of which is located in the basement level of the passenger terminal, and a separate remote transfer facility at the western end of the main concourse for handling of tight connection transfer bags. HKIA handles over 3 million tons of cargo annually. Hong Kong Air Cargo Terminals Limited operates one of the two air cargo terminals at the airport. Its headquarters, the 328,000 square meter Super Terminal 1, is the world's second largest standalone air cargo handling facility, after the opening of the West Cargo Handling Area of the Shanghai Pudong International Airport in March 26, 2008. The designed capacity is 2.6 million tons of freight a year. The second air cargo terminal is operated by Asia Air Freight Terminal Company Limited, and has a capacity of 1.5 million tons a year. DHL operates the DHL Central Asia Hub Cargo Facility which handles 35,000 parcels and 40,000 packages per hour. Hong Kong Post operates the Air Mail Center and processes 700,000 packages per day. It is envisaged that HKIA's total air cargo capacity per annum will reach 9 million tons ultimately. Aircraft maintenance services, both line and base maintenance services are undertaken by Hong Kong Aircraft Engineering Company, while China Aircraft Services Limited and Pan-Asia Pacific Aviation Services Limited carry out line maintenance. Line maintenance services include routine servicing of aircraft performed during normal turnaround periods and regularly scheduled layover periods. Base maintenance covers all airframe maintenance services and for this HAECO has a three-bay hangar, which can accommodate up to three Boeing 747-400 aircraft and two Airbus A320 aircraft, and an adjoining support workshop. HAECO also has the world's largest mobile hangar, weighing over 400 tons. It can be used to enclose half of a wide-body aeroplane, so that the whole facility can fully enclose four 747s when the mobile hangar is used. On May 29, 2009, CASL opened its first aircraft maintenance hangar in the maintenance area of the airport. The new hangar occupies an area of about 10,000 square meters and can accommodate one wide-body and one narrow-body aircraft at the same time. The hangar also has an about 10,000 square meter area in its annex building. CASL specializes in Airbus A320 family and Boeing 737 Next Generation Series heavy maintenance. Airport based ground services, the Air Traffic Control Complex, located at the center of the airfield, is the nerve center of the entire air traffic control system. Some 370 air traffic controllers and supporting staff work around the clock to provide air traffic control services for the Hong Kong Flight Information Region. At the Air Traffic Control Tower, 
Controllers provide 24-hour aerodrome control services to aircraft operating at the airport. A backup air traffic control center tower constructed to the north of the ATCX is available for operational use in the event normal services provided in the ATCX are disrupted by unforeseen circumstances. Apart from serving as an operational backup, the facilities are also used for air traffic control training. The Airport Meteorological Office of the Hong Kong Observatory provides weather services for the aviation community. The AMO makes routine and special weather observations and provides fixed-time aerodrome forecasts and landing forecasts for the HKIA. It issues aerodrome warnings on adverse weather for protection of aerodrome facilities and aircraft on the ground. It also issues significant weather information on thunderstorms, tropical cyclones, turbulence, icing and other hazardous weather. The AMO issues alerts of low-level wind shear and turbulence. Wind shear detection is made using traditional Doppler weather radars as well as the more effective Doppler LIDAR, of which Hong Kong International Airport was the first to introduce. Doppler LIDAR systems use lasers to detect wind shear and wind direction even when atmospheric conditions are too dry for Doppler radar to work. Rescue and firefighting services within the airport are covered by the airport fire contingent of the Hong Kong Fire Services Department. The contingent has 282 members, operating two fire stations and two rescue berths for 24-hour emergency calls. It is equipped with 14 fire appliances which can respond to incidents within two minutes in optimum conditions of visibility and surface conditions, satisfying the relevant recommendation of the International Civil Aviation Organization. Two high-capacity rescue boats, supported by eight speedboats, Form the core of sea rescue operations. Ground transport The airport is connected to Inner Hong Kong by the North Lantau Highway on Lantau Island. There is an automated people mover, operated by the airport authority and maintained by MTA Corporation, connecting the East Hall to the West Hall and Terminal 2. It was extended to Sky Pier in late 2009. Bus Citibus, New Lantai Bus. Longwin Bus and Discovery Bay Transit Services operate 25 bus routes to the airport from various parts of Hong Kong, available at the Airport Ground Transportation Center and Keong Tat Road. The bus companies also offer 10 overnight end services. Passengers can also take the S1 Site bus to the Tung Chung MTR station. From there they can board the MTR Tung Chung line which follows the same route as the MTR Airport Express to Central. Coach services are available to major cities and towns in Guangdong Province, such as Dongguan, Guangzhou and Shenzhen. Ferry Direct ferry services are available from the airport to various destinations throughout the Pearl River Delta via Scipia. Passengers using these services are treated as transit passengers and are not considered to have entered Hong Kong for immigration purposes. For this reason, Access to the ferry terminal is before immigration in the airport for arriving passengers. Check-in services are available at these piers. Four ports a Euro Shiko, Shenzhen Airport, Macau and Human a Euro were initially served, extending to Guangzhou and Zhongshan at the end of 2003. The Zhuhai service began on July 10, 2007 while Anantia service started on July 14, 2009. Rail the airport can be reached by the Airport Express, a dedicated rail link provided by the Mass Transit Railway. Serving Tsingyi, Kowloon, and Hong Kong, it is the fastest mode of transport to the airport from the city, taking only 24 minutes to reach the airport from Hong Kong Station. It offers free shuttle bus services to and from hotels and free transfers to and from the MTR. In addition, both Hong Kong and Kowloon stations provide in-town check-in services for major airlines. There are also discount promotions for group tickets annually. The Airport Express line terminates at Asia World a Euro Expo, located near the airport. This segment of the Airport Express started operations on December 20, 2005 to facilitate the opening of the expo. Taxi The airport is served by all three different types of taxi. Distinguished by their color, urban taxis connect the airport with Hong Kong Island, Kowloon and parts of the new towns of Tshuan Wan, 
Sha Tin and Sung Kwono New Territories taxis connect the airport with the New Territories, except those parts of the Tshuan Wan, Sha Tin and Sung Kwono served by urban taxis. Lantau taxis connect the airport with the rest of Lantau Island. Airport Hotels There are three hotels located in the nearby area, which are the Hong Kong Skicity Marriott Hotel, Novotel Hong Kong City Gate and Regal Airport Hotel. In 2013, the Regal Airport Hotel was named by Skytrax as the best airport hotel in the world. Incidents and Accidents The following are events at the current HKIA. On August 22, 1999, China Airlines Flight 642, which was landing at Hong Kong International Airport during Typhoon Sam after a flight from Bangkok International Airport, rolled over and caught fire, coming to rest upside down beside the runway. Of the 315 passengers and crew on board, three people were killed and 219 were injured. On May 25, 2002, China Airlines Flight 611 broke up in flight over the Taiwan Straits while en route to HKIA from Taipei Taiwan International Airport. On April 13, 2010, Cathay Pacific Flight 780 from Surabo Wanda International Airport to Hong Kong landed safely after both engines failed due to contaminated fuel. 57 passengers were injured. Its two pilots received the Polaris Award from the International Federation of Airline Pilots Associations for their heroism and airmanship. Accolades, AETRA Best Airport Worldwide, Air Cargo News Cargo Airport of the Year, Air Cargo World Air Cargo Excellence, Air Transport Research Society Asia Pacific Airport Efficiency Excellence Award, SEA Week Asia's Best Airport, British Constructional Steelwork Association, the Steel Construction Institute and British Steel Structural Steel Design Award, Business Traveller Best Airport in China Centre for Asia Pacific Aviation CAPA International Airport of the Year, Contnas Traveller World's Best Airport, Construction Industry Manufacturers Association Con Expo Con AGG 99 Top 10 Construction Achievements of the 20th Century A Euro Airport Core Programme, Federation of Asia Pacific Air Cargo Associations Most. Friendly Airport for Cargo, Hong Kong Institute of Architects Silver Medal for Architecture, Hong Kong Institute of Certified Public Accountants Diamond A Euro Best Corporate Governance Disclosure Awards, International Air Transport Association Eagle Award, Raven Fox Award for Travel Retail Excellence in Asia Slash Pacific, Skytrax World's Best Airport, SmartTravelAsia.com Best Airport Worldwide, Travel Weekly Best International Airport. Travel Weekly China Best Airport Facilities, TTG Best Airport, WTA World Travel Awards Asia Slash Pacific's Leading Airport, see also Airport Authority Hong Kong, Airport Security Unit, Government Flying Service A Euro A Search and Rescue Service that operates from HKIA, Kai Tak Airport A Euro Former Hong Kong International Airport, List of Buildings, Sites, and Areas in Hong Kong, Mega Projects and Risk, An Anatomy of Ambition, SHEK Kong Airfield A Euro A Military Airport in Hong Kong, Transport in Hong Kong, World's Busiest Airports by Cargo Traffic, World's Busiest Airports by Passenger Traffic, References External Links, Official Website, Hong Kong International Airport Master Plan 2030, World Aero Data A Euro Hong Kong International Airport, Open Nav, HKG slash VHHH Charts, Asia Air Freight Terminal Company Limited, Hong Kong, Air Transport in Hong Kong A Euro Trade Development Council, Extreme Engineering, Hong Kong Airport on Discovery.com, Aerial Video.